Hey, Hadley. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Good morning. It is like 7 in the morning. Hadley is just dying to come out here and check on the little baby lamb. And she's going to feed him before she goes to school. Uh, that's kind of her little project pet now. So uh, he'll be sticking around. We're not getting rid of him. He's going to be, he'll be like a backup breeder. So let's go over here and let's see how he's doing. Oh, Jesse's lining up to eat. Go out there, Jesse. Come on. Come on, Jesse. Come on. Okay, since I'm out here right now, I'm gonna go ahead and feed the animals, but stay with me today. I've got a little, I'm doing a little bit of vlog style. I got some explaining to do um, on docking these lambs' tails. Um, I get, it's came to my attention that a lot of y'all don't know the real purpose of why I do it. It's not just cosmetic, obviously. Um, there's medical reasons behind it. That's the main reason why I do it, um, and it and it helps a lot. Um, but before I get on that, this little girl right there is pregnant, and there's another one. Oh, right back in there, she's pregnant, and that one's pregnant. I think I got three of them that are pregnant that still need a lamb. And they're good, I think a good month behind, three weeks behind the other one. So um, we're going to be having some more baby lambs on the ground within the next month, I think. She's like, what's going on? It's feeding time. We put Jesse's feet in there today. <coughs> that little lamb's kind of interested in what's going on. Gabby, get back, girl. What is that? Okay, little lamb drank about 13 ounces of feed. He's he's drinking a lot lately. That's good. He'll be growing, and uh, before too long, he won't be eating milk. He'll be eating hay and feed. So that'll be good. So stay with me. I'm gonna do a little vlog. Stop by go to the store, get some stuff for the new shelter and all that. And I'll get, when I get back, I'll talk to y'all about docking the tails. I didn't know a lot of y'all didn't realize exactly why I do it. So stay. Well, tuned. I just got back from the lumberyard. I forgot my camera. I was gonna take it with me to record some of it, but ain't no big deal. I went and bought enough material to build another shelter just like that one. And I'm gonna show you guys putting that together real quick. Probably it'll be real quick on camera. Probably take me about an hour hour and a half I've, I've made these shelters where i basically only have to make uh two cuts on two boards right here these uh four by fours um i just gotta cut the back two to put the slope on it i think i might have cut all four i can't remember but we'll look at it we'll take a look and uh, i'll show you guys I'm, I'm gonna put it inside this pin right here and i'll have two shelters for them for uh, for now on so that'll be good i'll film putting it together i won't it won't be like a how-to but you guys can see me doing it how i do it um i won't be talking through i'll just put some music over it and let you guys enjoy it and i'll get back with you and uh, we got to feed that baby lamb one more time um, because it's time for lunch so i'm gonna get this stuff unloaded um i don't know if i already said this or not but this stuff costs like 200 bucks for everything to build a little it's pretty much eight by four I have to measure that an eight by eight by eight by four whatever you know uh shelter you can see i got right there for 200 dollars um not bad for what it is it's going to keep all the sheep and all the little lambs uh warm i have already i have a couple of shelters but i want them close up here side by side that way i can come in here and if i need to pin them up if i need to pin them up right there i have easy access to them um, those other shelters don't have a, a way for me to actually pin them in there so this is going to be a lot better uh, situation for me and the sheep so what while i'm talking about money real quick uh, I said this cost $200 to build. Um, my buddy Daniel from Arms Family Homestead, if you guys have not checked him out yet, which I can't believe you haven't because if you follow my channel very long, you know me and Daniel are buddies and, and uh, we talk about each other's channel all the time. Um, but if you have not seen the video he posted a couple days ago about YouTube income 
and uh, just income in general. I'll put a little i card up right there. You guys go check it out. Um, he really gives some great insight um, to what YouTubers make, and uh, he he I think he pretty much gives by the numbers and all that. Something I think you guys really really enjoy, especially if you're uh, new to YouTube and you're thinking about maybe doing this as a business. Um, Daniel talks about that, and it's really good information. So go check that little uh, video out for me. If you do, if you're not subscribed to him, you go over there and you like what he's got going on. Uh, tell him that Dutch sent you over there. I think he'll really appreciate that. All right, guys, let's unload this stuff. Let's unload this stuff and uh, get to building this. This, the tin was the most expensive out of the whole thing. It was $140 just for tin. Um, so that's where the majority of the, um, the funds went to was for tin. All right, guys, hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Okay, I went ahead and cut these off camera just to get it done. Um, I have a 48 a cut in the back and a 54 in the front to get the slope. Um, so this should go together pretty easy now. I shouldn't have any more cuts on anything else. So I'll show you guys uh, putting it together. All right, y'all, you can see I got the initial framing part done. So what I'm going to do now is put some of that tin on the back. That way I can move this back uh, closer to the fence how I want it. And then I'm going to start putting the tin on top, and then I'll do the sides. So I'll bring you on, along with for that. This only took me like 20, 25 minutes to put together. It's so easy. Um, this is a shelter that I could keep using over and over if I want to keep building them. Um, it's like 200 bucks. It takes you about... It's going to take less than an hour to put this thing together. It's awesome. And you guys see my other shelter. It's been serving a purpose for uh, several years now. And uh, so these are good little cheap shelters you can put together on your place by yourself. Okay, before I put the tent up, I went back and put an extra screw um, throughout all the main places on these 2 by 4s The initial, I just put two just to get it together. And I went back and reinforced it with just one extra one. Now on this one, I actually put the 2 by 4s around it, unlike that one over there. Just to make it, you know, if they push up against it, it won't just collapse. So we'll see how it goes. just real quick I got the shelter done um, but I wanted to make a, another video real quick on uh, docking lambs a lamb's tail um, let me just read you something from hold on let me put her down let me read you some of the benefits for docking a lamb's tail um, some of y'all I did not realize did not understand the benefits to it and I should explain myself a little bit probably a lot better to y'all um, in my last video whenever I showed docking the tail hold on a second let, let these sheep out All right, it's really windy out here today, so hopefully there's not too big of an echo inside here. All right, let me explain this to you. I did not explain it very well in the last video. I just kind of assumed that a lot of my followers already knew it, but I, did get, I have been getting a lot of new subscribers that aren't familiar with um, the way we run our homestead, uh, for say, with the lambs and stuff. I always dock the lambs tail. And in the video, I said I like it. I like to look better, which I do, but that's not why I do it. The reason why I do it is for health reasons. Um, it, it, it prevents the buildup of fecal matter, poop, um, on the uh, back end of, of the of the little baby lamb. Let me, let me read something to you real fast. This will explain it to y'all. Uh, docking improves the health and welfare of sheep and lambs. It prevents 
fecal matter from accumulating on the tail and hindquarters of the animal. Research has shown that tail docking reduces the risk of fly strike, wool maggots, um, having no uh, ill effects on the lamb uh, mortality or production. Um, so that's the reason why I do it. I've always done it. Um, the, the people that I've got my sheet from, they've always done it and they explained the same thing to me. Um, they, when they used not to dock it, um, they would get just a buildup of poop on there and then the fly, the, the flies would come in, lay their lava, larva, 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 and uh, it would, it would, uh, like it says here, um, the wool maggots, um, the maggots would go in there and it just and causes infection. Um, so just overall, it's just better, it's just better for the lamb and the sheep in the long run. Um, what little discomfort they have is, is by far better than um, getting fly, uh, fly maggots, larva, all that, you know, having the risk of infection later on in life and actually dying. Um, I've, I've known people that actually have lost sheep because um, of the buildup and they got big herds they can't watch all their sheep all the time now i have a little flock so it's really very easy for me to watch them um, but it's just as easy for me to come out here and dock the tail which causes very little to no pain whatsoever for the lamb um, we docked him yesterday and these two lambs are doing awesome I mean, they don't even know uh, so that's that's why i dock um, the lamb's tail uh, so I hope that clears it up. It, it wasn't just for cosmetic. Like I did say, I do like the look of it, obviously, but that's not why I do it. Um, I do it for the health reasons. Now, if there was no health reasons involved, I wouldn't dock it. There would be no, no need for it. Um, regardless if I like the look or not, I wouldn't do that. Um, but that's why I dock the tail. Every, every person I know that raise, raises uh, uh, sheep, they dock their tails. I'm probably the only one that you'll see in this area that have two run around that aren't docked. For some reason, I didn't dock them two years ago. So I hope that clears things up for y'all. Uh, sorry for the confusion. A lot of y'all just didn't know um, why I do it. And I gotta make myself uh, more clear um, in future videos when I do things because um, I take thing I take y'all for granted thinking that you probably already know um, a lot of the things that, why I do a lot of things that I do. Um, but now I know I need to explain myself a little bit better. I hope that helps. Um, I didn't didn't want to cause any confusion or anyone getting mad at me for doing it. Um, I hope that clears it up. So um, I apologize for not making that more clear in the last video. Just we're kind of in a hurry. And like I said, I just kind of assume people knew why, why we docked the tail. So that's what, that's why we do it. So there you go. Hope that clears it up. Let's take a little walk around at this uh, shelter. Now this is by no means of a piece of art. <laughs> it's a shelter for the lambs for Jess. If he wants to crawl in there, uh, it, it, it is what it is. I have made these where I have very little cutting. I had four cuts and that was the four uh, posts right there. Now it's not gonna be perfect by any means. Um, you can see I got little things hanging here and there, but it's effective and it works and it's very easy for me to build um, by myself. I have less than an hour time uh, building this. The hardest part of building it was just getting this tin up in this windy weather by myself. Uh, if I had two people, if my brother or Randy's out here helping me, I could probably could have done this whole thing in about 40 minutes or so. Um, that extra time, figuring hanging this stuff up just it just took longer um, but this is a really easy uh, shelter for your animals uh, now people say you need to get a barn then that's not a good enough shelter but i'm telling you this is perfect shelter for sheep like i said before half the time the sheep don't even get in the shelters at all they just it'll be raining snow and sleeting and they'll be out in the middle of it laying down that's just how sheep are they're different from goats i know uh, from talking to daniel um, goats hate water that doesn't it doesn't bother sheep at all it's crazy um, if you if you raise sheep you know what i'm talking about if you're new to sheep i'm telling you uh you definitely want to have a shelter for them to be able to get into like i got the little baby lamb over there uh keeping him dry that's that's a ne uh, uh, necessity um you have to have your your small young animals um a place for them to stay dry and warm obviously but the, the mature uh ewes and ram half the time they won't even use this thing but i got it put together just in time to call for rain the next couple days so i'm gonna go to the feed store and get some fresh hay to put down in here um and then uh they'll be good to go you already seen them walking here the, the animals are really nosy look at jesse look at jesse look at that he's licking my hand <laughs> They're really nosy, so they already checked it out. But yeah, that's all I got for y'all today. Hope that clears things up. Hope you guys like these little vlog style videos I've been doing. I used to do a lot of how-to videos, but now I'm just kind of implementing uh, my daily routine um, inside the vlogs. I, it's, it's easier for me to do, and I think you guys are really enjoying If you guys are enjoying these vlog type videos, let me know down below, because uh, that's probably what I'm gonna continue to do. Uh, probably shy away from the how-to videos. Um, but yeah, that's how I built that. <laughs> Jesse's nosy, just like the rest of them. Let's take a look at the little baby lamb before I get off here. You ready to eat again, you little piggy? You ready to eat? Look at him. 
Look, they're nosy coming back in here already. What's up, Jess? Jesse has destroyed the hay over here. That's fine, though. He was going to town on that mineral lick. Look, Jesse could even get in there. He scratches back on there. I guarantee that's what he'll start doing. Perfect, Jesse. So he has uh, three options now. He can get in the other shelters or he can get in this one. He likes hanging out with the sheep, so he'll probably be hanging out in here with these guys. Yep, so I got two of them side by side. That's ideal for lambing. I actually have, you can see that you way over there. Um, she, her milk is coming in. There's an, one or two more that the milk's coming in. So we'll be having some more lambs on the ground. All right, y'all, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that like button like always. And if you're not subscribed, like I keep saying, I don't know why you're not, click that little button over there and subscribe. I really do appreciate every one of y'all watching the videos, liking it, and uh, leaving nice comments. We, we greatly, greatly appreciate it as a family. Um, that's what keeps us going. Um, when we start getting negative comments, Brandy and I hate reading them, so a lot of times I just delete them. I don't even want to deal with it, so that's how that, that's how that goes. Now Lily's out here. Lily, get out of here. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next video.